Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of JNI Vlog. So previous video, we talked about how to use WinAgent X as a proprietary package to build your own operator, just like ChatGPT operator from OpenAI. So in this video, we're gonna roll out a couple more features to complete the task to mimic how humans shop on Amazon. And instead of having humans do that, we're gonna to talk to a chat about using natural language as interface and have the operator to do that task for us. So with that being said, let's dive right in. Hey, so right in front of me, I have two windows. On the left-hand side, I have a Google Chrome browser. On the right-hand side, I have a terminal window. So what I'm gonna do is instantiate the conversation environment, and I'm gonna leave my mouse cursor on the bottom right corner, and I'm trying not to touch it for the rest of the video. So with that being said, let's get started. We're going to start with Python test.py to start the environment. Great. Now I can say I want to open a new browser. He understood that the intent is to open a Google browser, and it's now asking me a target URL. So I can type in HTTPS Amazon.com. And I'm going to verify true. Boom, there you go, just like that. It opened a new tab for me. Now, let's say my action is to search on Amazon and I want to buy some cat food for me, right? That's a simple task we're trying to demo in this video. Uh, so in that case, I want to find a search box. So I'm just going to go to my window and say, I want to click on a uh, link. He understood that the API here is find and click and it's asking me to provide a target location. So I saw that the search Amazon text is in the search box, and I can use that as a keyword to find where that is. Uh, so I'm going to say search Amazon. It's going to snap a screenshot, try to understand where that word is. It's going to then try to move my cursor over there. Boom, just like that, right? That's awesome. Now I want to type something in, right? So. I go to my window and say, I want to type in text. He understood that the API here is enter text on screen. And then it's asking me, what is it that you want to write that, right? Text to write. And then maybe I can say cat food. He wrote cat food. And now it's giving me a bunch of link on the search box from Amazon. Now I just need to click on one of them. Right. So I just need to talk to tab out again. I say, I want to click on a link. It's asking me for location. I then can say cat food dry. Isn't it trying to identify where that word is on the computer, on the screen? And then it's going to move my cursor over there for me and click on that. Awesome. So now I'm on the section of cat food dry, and I see a couple of results, right? And uh, a couple of items here are sponsor item, meaning that they're ads. Uh, maybe you want them, uh, maybe you don't want them, right? Let's say in this case, I do not want them. I want to see what other items are there. So I want to scroll down, right? So what I'm going to say is I want to scroll down. He understood that the API here is to scroll down. That's asking me how many lines, right? Maybe I start with 500 lines, just like that. And then you get the idea, right? Maybe I want to scroll down a bit more. Uh, this is to mimic your action of using your mouse cursor, right? Maybe here I say uh, 800, just to scroll down a bit more. And then I notice that I'm still looking at sponsor item. Uh, so maybe next I want to scroll down 1,000. Uh, so that's the idea. Now, I saw that the Purina one, it's something that I can buy and the mouse cursor is right there. Or maybe I just click on it, right? Click on the item, click now. And you click on the link. Now you should be trying to take me there to the page of that item. Great, now I'm in this page. I can see that I purchased this before. Uh, now maybe I want to add this to my cart, right? Because end of the day, I want to buy this product then I want to add this to my cart. And in order to do that, I need to scroll down. So let's go to our chatbot and let's do the same action. And then let's say I want to scroll down and then maybe here I give a thousand. 
And let's say I saw the thing add both to cart, and let's say that's what I want to do. Uh, so I will tell the chatbot, I want to click on a link just like what we did before. And here I'm going to say add both to cart. It's going to try to understand where that keyword is by taking a snapshot. Now it's going to move my cursor there just like that. Boom, there you go. Now I can proceed to checkout. So I'm obviously not going to buy a new product just for the demo of the video. But what I can do in the end is to go to the cart and show you guys that these items is indeed in the cart. So let's try to do that. Go to cart. So same API call, try to grab a screenshot, try to understand where that word is. And then now it's going to move my cursor to go to cart. Boom, just like that. Now you can proceed to checkout. So there you go. This is a full demo of what I believe what's going on behind the scene for ChatGPT operator, right? So in the sense that we have a chatbot environment, it can be a ChatGPT window, it can be your own chatbot window, uh, you can download, deploy it in a Docker image, you can do whatever you want, right? So this is the concept behind the scene. It allows you to use natural language to talk to a chatbot and then to use an agent behind the scene as a proxy to do things, to carry out certain tasks for you, just like an operator does. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.